Yeah, boss of YouTube, how's it going, everybody? Um, originally I wasn't gonna upload tonight. Well, actually, I wanted to upload two videos tonight: a uh, showdown live part and a Wi-Fi battle. Unfortunately, today, earlier today, really was not all that great. Up until the last couple of hours, where I just got in call with some of my good old friends like uh, Lantonio, uh, Richard. Andy and Nathan and we just kind of had some fun on showdown we did a live for Richard's channel which will be up in a couple of days and uh, we decided to take a little break so right now I'm just kind of sitting here so I kind of want to uh, get a battle um, it's gonna be an uber so let me know if you guys would like to see more parts with this really fun ubers team that I got from my very good friend Edgar aka D Black Stardust <coughs> and it's just a very fun looking team because I like that he has Scolipede, Mega Mawile, uh, Landers, and uh, Skyman. And then just the uh, standard, especially defensive Kyogre, and a very defensive Arceus Ghost. But yeah, just let me know. I'll leave Edgar's channel link as well in the description below. Definitely go check him out. He is really undersubbed and definitely knows what he's talking about when it comes to Ubers. So if you're into Ubers, then by all means go subscribe to him. But yeah, with that, I think I've rambled on enough. If you would like to see more parts, uh, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below letting me know. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get up a Wi-Fi battle tomorrow. So yeah. Alright guys, so after about 11 battles I want to say... Uh, I managed to find somebody who knows what they are doing, which is great. Also, I know you guys can see the background. That is because um, my boy Richard actually sh has a video on how to change your background on Showdown. Some of you might have seen it. Some of you might have not. If you're new to Pokemon, I'll leave a link to that video down in the description. If I forget the link, by all means, leave a comment down below and I will make sure to add it. Now, look at the leads on my opponent's side of the field. He has the ever so common Mega Gengar with a Xerneas core which is going to be rather annoying but I'm just going to lead off with my Scolipede <clears throat> as he ends up leading off with the uh, Groudon I'm just going to go straight for a layer of spikes I also kind of want to just go for a layer of toxic spikes to be honest oh excuse me which uh, I can go for the Endeavor and do a double down and I get rid of Groudon do I really need Two layers of spikes, that was the question. Maybe talk spikes. Uh, from looks at my team, I think it would be better just to get rid of this Kyogre. I mean, not this Kyogre. <laughs> this uh, Groudon. Uh, then again, I could just bring in my Shaman. Because looking at his team, nothing safely switches in. Although, he will be able to save this Groudon for later in the battle. So I think just going for Endeavor right now is my better play to go for although if he does want to switch out for some odd reason that'll be perfectly fine by me because I'll be able to bring uh, whatever he brings in down to a percent as he does decide to stay in it is going to be a double down which means I don't have to worry about him getting up stealth rocks which is just perfect and on the double down it depends what he wants to bring in I'm expecting to maybe want to bring in the Genesect of all things so I think what I'm gonna do is actually bring in my Arceus as he ends up bringing in the Kyogre okay uh, Kyogre is a bit of a problem for this team. Uh, I'm going to make the safe switch into my specially defensive Kyogre, expecting him to just want to go for like a Scald or something along those lines. As it turns out that he's a Water Spout, judging for that damage, I'm very positive that he is Scarfed. So that's going to be something I have to watch out for. So I'm just going to stay in and I'm going to go for the Scald as he is most likely going to switch out. As he ends up bringing in the Xerneas, come on, can we get a burn? Can we get a burn? Yes, we get the burn, which is really nice. Because now, we'll be able to wear this thing down a whole lot easier, and I'm going to be able to just go for another Scald. As he ends up going for the Geomancy, I don't agree with that play. He definitely could have just gone for the... Um... For the Moonblast. Maybe he thought that after he got the plus two, he would be able to take the Scald, live the burn damage, and get off a good amount of damage on something on my team. Which, I guess isn't too bad of a play, but still... Moonblast most likely would have been his better move to go for in the long run as he ends up bringing in the Genesect. I like how they finally implemented a uh, shiny sprites on showdown and um, I'm gonna make a risky play and I'm gonna switch into my Landers Oh, excuse me. I say risky because He can just u-turn right on out to Mega Gengar and Mega Gengar is a bit of a problem Although, 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 I'm very positive that Mega Mawile 
should be able to live any hit that he wants to go for. So I think I'm fine. And let's see what he wants to do. He ends up going for the gunk shot. Okay. The fuck? Who? Why gunk shot? Hello? Is that even a th I mean, I guess for fairies, but that's just... What? That is not a thing. Wait, wait. I think I know this guy. Tony Daddy. I... I think I... I know this dude. He follows me on Twitter. I know you, dude. I'm actually gonna tweet at you. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I know this is very unprofessional. This is very, very, very unprofessional, but I just... I really want to do this. I really, really want to do this. I apologize. This is Tweet Deck, for those of you who don't know what's going on. Um... <laughs> I, I have to do this. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Tony, Tony, there you are. Oh, I'm getting a nice, uh, nice PK face. Okay, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Anyways, uh, he's most likely, a little, he's most likely locked into gunk shot. So what I kind of want to do is go for the knockoff. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for knockoff. As he brings in the Kyogre. Okay, good, because we'll get to find out what item he is. And he turns out to be Scarfed, okay, just as I thought. Unfortunately, this is kind of bad because now he has free liberty to... Free... Why am I messing up? I apologize, guys. As I was saying, he has free liberty to switch up moves. But what I'm going to do is actually switch into my... Into this thing. As he just ends up going for the safe water spot. I'm guessing he doesn't have any other water stab move. And he didn't want to go for the ice beam on the options that I did bring in my Kyogre. The reason why I didn't bring in Kyogre is because if he does carry thunder he could hit me with the thunder which would be really really bad so I think I'm just gonna stay in and I'm gonna go for the safe judgment just to see what he wants to do because even if he wants to switch out that'll be perfectly fine by me as he decides just to leave in his Kyogre unfortunately don't do enough damage as he goes for the earthquake I have no idea is earthquake on Kyogre even a thing? I, I don't know. Anyway, she's gonna bring in the uh, big ass threat known as M Mega Gengar. Uh, he has Arceus Fairy still. So I need Mawile. Mawile can deal with Gengar and his Arceus. So do I really need my own Arceus? I mean, I don't outspeed him either way. So I might just stay in and go for the Judgment. As in Mega Evolves, I'm faster! Wait, does Mega Gengar carry? I don't know if Mega Gengar runs modest in Ubers. I think, I, I think it does run modest actually. I don't know. I have to check with Edgar because even I was thinking that it would be weird if he was timid. Cause I'm yeah, cause I'm pretty sure Mega Gengar runs modest. I don't know if Edgar watches this, he'll let me know, or I'll just ask him afterwards. But yeah, I'm guessing he thought I would be uh, scared and switch out. But no, I do know a decent amount of Ubers to know what things mostly are. I just need to learn the uh, speed tier of Xerneas and Yveltal. And as I said, I think Modest Gengar is a thing. So he's going to bring back in the Genesect. Um, I really have no reason to switch out. So I'm just going to stand and I'm going to go for the uh, Will-O-Wisp. Because there's a chance he might just want to go straight for the U-turn. And then I can just catch the incoming Arceus. Which would be really good for me. Because I'll be able to wear down the Arceus and just uh, go from there. And he shouldn't be able to beat my Mawile one-on-one -on -one anyways. And from the looks of it, I think Mawile at this point is definitely my win condition. This goes to show you that Arceus uh, Ghost is really, still really good this generation. Oh, did he just see the picture? <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, friend. I'm actually. I'm gonna ask him. Hold on, hold on. Why EQ on Kyogre? Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm on my old laptop, and like the space button does not work unless I aggressively like press it. So apologize about that. And I guess we're just gonna wait. Okay, someone gave him the set. So he goes for the gunk shot and he gets the poison. Wow. <laughs> I'm actually not upset by that. Because, I mean, at this point, um, I'm in a solid position. I'm gonna switch right into my Mawile. Because I'm still a steel type. Steel types are not affected by poison types, which is uh, really good. Because I can just bring it in, hopefully, set up an SD, and then maybe uh, just go from there. But yeah guys, as I said, just uh, let me know if you would like to see some more uh, parts with this team. Originally, I was only going to do this one battle, but if you guys 
would like to see more parts, then by all means, uh, just leave a comment down below. And I will definitely keep moving up the ladder on Uber so we can uh, get some better opponents. I'm not calling this guy bad, not saying that, but I'm just saying we can get some some better people. I'm trying to make that not... Okay, I tend to overthink things a lot, but I, I, I'm, it's not a bad thing. <laughs> so he's going to switch out into his own Arceus. Ah, see, I, I kind of thought I had a layer of Tox Spikes up, but I don't. And I want to go straight for the sword Dance, but something is telling me that he's going to have, like, Flamethrower. Knowing my luck, he'll have Flamethrower. Uh, do I want to risk it? I think I'm just going to go straight for the Iron Head. Wow, he does have Flamethrower! Uh, thankfully, though, nowhere near knocking me out. And I was also expecting him to want to go for the Will-O-Wisp, which is why I didn't want to go for the... S which is why I did want to go for the Swords Dance. But he's going to bring back in his last Pokemon, which is this Genesect. I'm going to be able to easily knock him out with the Sucker Punch. And as you can see, uh, Mega Mawile and Scolipede really do put in some work in Ubers. So yeah, guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed. As I said, if you would like to see more parts with this team, by all means, uh, leave a like and uh, leave a comment down below. If I sound a little bit different, it's because I'm actually just... Uh, uh, this is like one of... Right now, I, this is probably the less... The least... I guess least or less less stressful I have felt in a while. So yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed the little laid back narration. And with that, I'm just rambling. I'm pretty sure you guys stopped watching by now. So yeah, later buddy.